there's something that I'm thinking is very interesting and I wanted to share your experience so that remember the part of the show is to educate and advise the upcoming and current players. Mm. We haven't had a team for a year, so I'll say the whole of 2021 you were not playing, meaning you don't have an income. How did you manage to keep it together? Because most players, six months without a team, it, you start seeing the cracks. Mm. But how did you get it right? Yeah, obviously, I, in my playing career, you know, you, I started putting, you put money away, you investing in this and that. Um, I invested in property. Um, I had a, I had a love for property because I don't know. It's because when I saw my father, he, he, they bought the second place in Cape Town when I was still young, and I was there. I used to help, you know, help mix the, the cement and that. Mm. And you see, I just love to see how people bowl in it, and I become liking of property um i went that route um there's different avenues you can go into mm -hmm. but i just enjoy the, the property market because i can remember i bought my first property um, when i was at santos today it's double the price and you you just get shocked and you see hey, this uh, this property thing uh, it's, it's an asset because your money you you're buying the property, but your money is still there. That it's still the asset, and your money still gets more, you know, because mm -hmm. the, the it just goes up. The property just goes up. It doesn't depreciate. It just increases. So yeah, that's what kept me going. Obviously, uh, um, started a business or investment company, and that's where I'm at now. And investing in different properties. Mm -hmm. um, different projects and, and that, that sort of thing. Yeah. So you've got a couple of properties that you are renting out and they are bringing income while yeah. Uh, yeah. looking Yeah, yeah. I have a few here in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. and I never saw me buying in Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. I was a Cape Town boyki. Um, I bought in Cape Town. I bought here in Johannesburg as well. So yeah, just looking at different markets because at the end of the day, you also learn because obviously I didn't know anything also because you were just looking at videos, looking at um, how people are doing it, asking advice. Hey, how can you do this? Is it beneficial for me? Mm. And what are the advantages, the disadvantages? You can only equip yourself to those sorts of things. And I think um, that's what I did. Yeah. And it's helping me. It's, um, it's sustaining me. And mm. obviously, um, it's not to say that that's where it's at. Obviously, I'm still looking at different avenues, whether it's playing, whether mm -hmm. it's in the coaching field, but obviously in football because obviously I've been in football for over my whole life yeah. from a youngster, district football, right up to professional. So I, I still see myself within the football, in the fraternity. And also I'm at another end on the property side of things. Mm -hmm. So... Like I said, you need to equip yourself. You can listen to seminars, go on YouTube, listen to people's stories and see. And then afterwards, you just test the waters and see hey, this thing is working. And luckily for me, it's been working so far. It's, it's still going smoothly. So yeah. I can only improve. Yeah.